Hello everyone and welcome to this latest tutorial. Today's tutorial features the current Premier League champions, which I'm glad to say. And as you can clearly see, it's got Jordan Henderson and Roberto Firmino. And it's got the text Liverpool, number 19 for the amount of times they've won the, uh, the league. And the latest uh, punchline advertisement campaign, Tell Us Never. Um, again, it's just something uh, simple just for a beginner who's new to Photoshop. What I would like to say as well at this point is I get a lot of uh, requests from people asking about um, like welcome graphics or welcome images. Any of these tutorials can be adapted to however you see fit. So for in this example you could substitute, no pun intended, the, uh, the text of Liverpool uh, just to welcome and an image of the latest player that's uh, joined your club. Again, these images don't have to be exclusive uh, to use Liverpool players. Uh, I'll include the links in the description below to these images, but again, they can be images of players uh, from your club uh, or whatever. It's just um, it's just a template and just to give you ideas. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So I'm working on a Mac. Uh, so if you're working on Windows, uh, it's Control N, but uh, I'm working on a Mac, so uh, Command N for a new document. Okay, and the width is 1200 by 1600 pixels. Resolution, I like to work with 300 pixels per inch and color RGB color, red, green, blue color, 8 bit, white background, and I'm going to click OK. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this padlock and I'm going to get rid of it. Now, my color palette there, if it's not black or white, just press D on your keyboard, OK, and it'll set the foreground and uh, background colors to black and white as the default. Now, as it's uh, got black, as the foreground color, I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and press backspace, and it's going to fill it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in these contours, this image is there. So it is quite small, uh, as you can see. Uh, it's not the greatest image, I think it's 450 pixels uh, by 450, um, so it's not great, but luckily it doesn't pixelate too much, and we're going to reduce the opacity of it. So you can just drag it out. And it will grow in proportion, or you can hold Alt, and it will grow in proportion both ways. And just want to fill the canvas like so. It doesn't matter where you position it, and press Enter. And as you can see, it's not too pixelated, and it works quite well. Okay, so this uh, this layer here, this uh, this layer, okay, you can you can see it's above the uh, the the black layer that we've done. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the opacity I'm going to lower it so basically that means how see-through it is and I'm going to drop it down to 15 and it's going to look something like that and then if we click that little eye icon there you can see it disappearing and coming back so uh, I digress now I'm going to drop in Jordan Henderson first and I'm just going to just lower him a little bit if you're using an older image of Photoshop you're going to have to hold shift down Okay, just for him uh, to decrease in proportion, I'm going to hit enter. Now I want Firmino to be behind Jordan's elbow, so I'm going to click on this uh, layer here. So when I drop him in, uh, he'll drop in between Jordan and the contours, just like so. And just a little bit smaller, I'm going to drag him across and just leave a little bit of a gap for the text, tell us never. And I'm going to select Jordan again and press command T. And he's okay for size. I'm just going to bring him across. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm not going to hide the night tick or the LFC logo down there. I want those to stand out. And I'm going to leave it like that. So that's looking good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the effect of uh, around the players. So we'll do Jordan Henderson first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate Jordan. Okay, I got these uh, images from Footy Renders as well, as you can as you can see here. Uh, on the text. Links will be in the description below. It's a brilliant resource for football players. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to set the bottom Jordan Henderson. Okay. And there's different ways of doing it, but depending on what colour you would like. Okay, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to do a thing called clipping. So I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard. I'm going to hover between the layers. And this means it's going to clip. So anything I do on this layer now will only directly impact um, the layer underneath it. So if I just get rid of that layer there. Now, we've got black and white selected over here in our palette. This time, I'm going to hold Command and Backspace. I'm going to fill it white. So, as you can see there, if I unclip it, it fills the whole screen. But if I clip it, it's only filling in uh, Jordan Henderson there. And reselect that layer there. 
Now this layer's underneath, we can't see it at the minute, so I'm just going to press V on my keyboard, and that's going to select the Move tool over here in the top left. Okay, I'm going to use the keys on my keyboard, and I'm just going to move them around something along those lines. I'm going to hit Enter. Now I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do again now, I'm going to select this top layer of Jordan Henderson, I'm going to press Command J to duplicate him again. And the layer underneath, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Fill, I'm going to drop it down all the way to 100. Now you can't see this, um, but what it's done is it just makes it disappear. So the fill, the actual inside, the actual image has disappeared. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click just outside the text and it's going to bring up the layer style palette. I'm going to go to stroke just over here on the left and I'm going to select it. Now the color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample from the color, this the teal color. And it's color like that, so 00. zero B, 3C9, 0, 0, B, 3C9. Okay, just select a colour, it doesn't have to be that exact colour, but it's the uh, the teal colour that's on the Liverpool logo. I'm going to hit OK. Now you notice it's popped up, and if we get rid of there, you can see the line, we'll get rid of that layer as well. You can see the stroke, so the stroke is the outline of, uh, of the layer, if you will. So we've got our stroke there, and that looks... Pretty okay, I like how it's looking, but what I'm going to do is I'm press Command T for my transform tool. Now I'm using my uh, pad, excuse me, on my uh, on my laptop to zoom in and out uh, quite effectively. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt. I'm just going to increase it and I'm just using the keys on my keyboard just to nudge it around. I'm using the ear as a guide and the elbow. And you can just decrease it a little bit. And there we go. One thing I forgot to mention, so if I just click on that stroke there, on the settings, I've got it at three pixels. The position, it's on the outside. So if we just had the pure image, okay, it'd be on the outside or the inside, just on the inside edge of the uh, image. I've chosen the outside. Blend mode normal, pass it 100%. And the color is that teal color. So I do apologize for that. So uh, that's Jordan, so that's looking fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top layer, hold shift on my keyboard and select the bottom Jordan Henderson layer so they're all highlighted. And I'll press Command G and it's going to group them. And I'm just going to double tap that text and type Hendo. Okay, next, Roberto Firmino is going to be exactly the same again. Okay, I'm going to duplicate him by pressing Command J or you can drag and drop him onto the new layer there. And the bottom layer, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to clip it like I did before. I've got white in the background layer, so I'm going to select Command and Backspace. And you notice a little bit of white popped up around Bobby's hair there. You can see it's been filled. OK, press V on my keyboard for my Move tool. In fact, press the uh, correct layer, hit V. Just going to move him out. and That looks good, so I'm happy with that. Go back to the top layer of Bobby. Duplicate, so this time I'll drag it down so you can see, onto the new layer there, it pops up, select the bottom layer. Okay, reduce the fill, double click, go to the stroke. Now it's already selected from before, three pixels, can be as thick as you like, outside, 100% past the colour, the, uh, the teal blue colour. Click OK, and you can just grow it in proportion, something along along those lines, so that's looking good, so I'm happy with that. And again, I'm gonna select the top layer. Now you can do it individually by pressing Command this time, and then you can select the layers individually. That's how you would uh, select around another layer. Okay, I'm gonna press Command G to group him. I'm gonna call that Bobby. Okay, so next, what I want to do is I'm gonna select this contour layer. I'm just gonna create a new layer there. I'm gonna hit T. Now I'm using Babas New again, it's my favourite font at the minute, I've used it in most of my tutorials, so if you are familiar with my tutorials you've probably more than likely already got this font, um, if not you can choose whatever font you want but the link will be in the description below for this font. Okay, the colour is going to be white, I'm going to click OK, don't worry about the size at the minute, and I'm going to just write Liverpool. So in this instance you could write welcome etc etc. Okay, I'm press Command T. I've got that layer selected. I'm going to bring up my transform toolbox. 
Okay, this uh, little angle thing up here, just to make it so it's bang on 90 degrees, I'm going to move it round. Okay, you can just press minus 90 and it spins it. Or you can right click and flip horizontal, flip vertical, rotate 180, rotate 90, you can do it that way as well. And I'm just going to hit the move tool there. I'm going to hit T on my text tool again. And then, as you can see, it changes as you hover over. So I'm going to hover over and on the text and press Command A to highlight it all. And with the um, the size tool up here, okay, I'm just going to grow it up to something like that. And I'm going to bring that down for a sec. Command A if it unhighlights itself. And I'm just going to play around with it a minute. Just drag it in. And I'm liking the look of that. That looks okay. So what you can do to centralize it as well. Okay. Select this black layer. And then Command 0 to resize just to make it all fit on the screen. Okay, you should have your rulers at the top. If you don't, press Command R. Okay, and they'll pop up. And then with the guides, I'm just going to bring a guide down, drop it, and it'll lock into the center. Go back to my Liverpool text, press Command T, and you can see it's pretty much central. Just a little nudge down on the keys sorted that out. Command T, and you can just hide it behind Jordan a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. If you want, notice on this image, okay, I did a bit of a splatter effect. That's entirely up to you. What I did there is I just masked it by selecting the mask tool, hit B for my brush tool, right clicked, and I just selected one of the brushes that was pre-installed, special effects brush maybe. Yeah, select a special effects brush. Okay, and then you can just tap away. It's how you like. It's a pre-installed brush. Um, not wanting to get too creative or too carried away for a beginner or get overwhelmed. Um, so that's how you can do that. Press Command H to get rid of that guide as well, if you so wish. Now what you can do is uh, duplicate your layer, Command J. Okay, the layer underneath, right click, delete the layer mask, we don't want that. So now we've just got our Liverpool text. Okay, I'm going to press Command T and I'm just going to drag him out. I'm going to position it somewhere around there. It should lock in, it's not. So press Command H, bring that back up. Command T and you can just realign it how it was before. So now these two layers are perfectly aligned. And what I'm going to do is the fill. So you'll see it in real time now. If I'm going to drop it down to the fill, it disappears. Double click, get that layer style up. Hit the stroke. It's got that nice teal color, but this time I'm going to select the color. I'm going to pick a red on the shirt. Play around, I like that red. So that's C50B2C. Click OK. And OK again. Yep, fantastic, and collapse that. T for your text tool, and we can just write number 19. And position it just there. Command A. I'm just going to grow it in proportion. And before I move on, I'm just going to click this little icon for the move tool up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that Liverpool layer there. I'm going to just drag it down and just drop a guide in at the top. Go back to the 19 layer, just drag that up there and you see how it locks in. I'm just going to do exactly the same. Double click, go for the stroke, click OK at this point. You can see the strokes on the outside there, and then just drop your fill down. And voila. And then finally to finish it off, hit T for my text tool. And we'll just type it it's here so we can see it. Come on, Z, in fact, no. Command Z to go back. <laughs> the uh, the layers are now cluttered. Okay, we'll go over there. Just touch the Bobby. Type Liverpool. Command A. I'm going to bring that right down. Something like that. In fact, I don't want that. I want Tell Us Never. Okay, click the move tool. Command T. Change the angle to minus 90. And you can see it's locked in there just nicely and hit enter to sort that text out. 
there we go and that is a uh, that is our image that real simple real quick nice and clean image there's no adjustment layers uh, required on this one um, as the images are quite really high quality and yeah it's just something really basic for, um, for you to give you some ideas and inspire you so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial just a quick simple one uh, I was just playing around on Photoshop uh, with a few ideas and I thought I would do a, a tutorial on it so I hope you liked it if you did please hit that like button uh, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this tutorial please uh, check out my other videos and consider subscribing and I will see you in the next tutorial very soon.